What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Chainsaw Man. Today we are doing episode 11. This one is called Mission Start. Has a, a good feeling in my heart that the training arc that we're going on, the contract with Aki is about to end. We're going to be setting up the next season. Hopefully it's 2024 right around the corner. I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access to the shows I'm watching. Let's hop right into it. Uh, Chainsaw Man, episode 11. Let's do it. All right. Exactly where we left off with Aki and the future devil down in these cell halls. Look how amazing this animation looks just for this. Which I had a little personal debate with some friends because we really didn't, which I do like how they don't tell you straight up, but it's like little subtle su context clues. Can you guys answer me straight on out? If it's not a spoiler, if it's a spoiler, please don't answer. But when Aki was talking to the cursed devil last uh, episode, because he's used the sword quite a few times, it looked a little tattered, this, that, the other. He said, how much time do I have left? I assume that was his overall lifespan on some Shinigami death note type shit. And the cursed devil said two years. So with that being said, if you were to make a contract with this future devil, and let's just say, for example, cut off half of his remaining lifespan, would that just be a year off the two years? Is the two years all he has left? And let's say the two years runs out. Let's say everything happens peacefully. Everything, you know, does he just like, is it like a heart attack? Like some death note type? Like, I'm so curious. Yeah, I like that. I like that concept that the devil can like you and give you a bargain, you know, depending on what kind of personality and all this you have, how you talk to it. The future rules. Oh, I, we saw him in the opening, didn't we? Yeah, I thought it was just like pure visuals. I did not think he was actually going to be a devil. Yup, there he is right there. See, I did not think that shimmying thing was going to be a devil. This is not the personality I was expecting. <laughs> the future rules, man. This is not what I was expecting. Uh -huh. Live inside your right eye. Don't tell me. If you spoil me, I'm gonna beat you. Alright, good. All he's interested in is how to kill the d gun devil. We need vengeance out here. <laughs> no hesitation. I love it. Back over to Denji and Power getting actually murdered. Yeah, is it, uh, uh, like we're really mission start is no shit. We're doing this. I love Nanami's just so mellow, gravelly voice, you know. Wow. He's getting attached to him. This man really does drink a lot. Drinking women and killing devils is main things. That's what the other guy who, uh, Madoka, who tried, who resigned, you know? Yeah, it's like some Ervin AOT type shit. As long as you're doing the better good, but only in that case. If you're doing some shenanigans and some shady fuckery on the side, you know? Let's, let's hope that's the actual case, you know? Yes, well, I don't want to pause it again. I don't like breaking the cool tension that's being built during this meeting, but we still don't... I know you guys know, so don't fucking answer me. We still don't know the details on how Makima survived, how she knew that, what contract she has, what these goddamn rings on her eyes are. She could be a goddamn devil. We don't know. That is true. You did bring him back. I forgot about that. Zombie devil? How? It's back from... Yeah, because his granddad was... Yep, a little parting gift from granddad. Of deadbeats who couldn't pay their debt. I'm so butthurt. For me, expecting... The training to die down a little bit set up into the next arc and set up in the next season I, I if i get even a little bit of this i'm gonna be ecstatic just so you know guys ecstatic 
Hell yeah. One last bit of advice. What would that be? I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your assistance on our contracts. May you guys live long and fruitful lives. Fucking, he's out here just selling arms. That's what I'm saying. This man's a fucking arms dealer. I know a lot of mafias, Yakuza stuff. They, they see themselves as that. The, the necessary evil. There's a valid point to that. Fair enough. I get keeping balance between the mafias and keeping them. I do agree with some sort of necessary evil to an extent. She's like, I got the brown paper bag. It's someone's heart or someone there's a bomb. No, nah, no, nah, not a chance. Makima is a gangster. The eye devil? What the fuck? It's not a true necessary evil. Ooh. Actual raid to special Div 4. First actual official test run of the new Div 4. I did not expect us to get a rematch in the same season. If we do even get a glimpse of it, I'm going to be ecstatic. Which would be what? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's what you need to be worried about? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Wait, oh, this is more special Div 4 members that we... Because we haven't met them all yet. He's from the opening. Any surface, including walls and floors? That's so sick. He's like Nana away from Suicide Squad. Who is this guy? This is another one with the plague doctor mask. Wow. Oh my god. This is what Kishibe met meant when he said they're mo almost entirely non human. What the fuck? Oh hell no. Oh my god. What in the fuck? Angel Lady, she's also from the opening. She's actually an angel? Bit of a special case. <laughs> my boy Denji Kobani powered is going ham. Meanwhile, you got the goat Aki. Come on. Material breaks the contact. Oh, the fucking wings can block bullets. That is so sick. Good dodge. Not even killing these people. Straight uppercut. Subdue them, knock them out. Shouts out Miss Makima helping us out with the random thugs. I still need to know. Oh, that's why he had, uh, she had him write down the names of everyone contracted with the gun devil. She can use whatever contract she has to just kill him on the spot. Wow, we're here. That's uh, Sawatari, Snake Girl, Aki meeting head to head. And that's what I'm guessing the other guy is going to be uh, fighting Denji for his vengeance. Heavy spit it out. I love how it only costs a fingernail each time. It's the ghost fucking devil from Himeno. It can swallow and spit out devils to like keep their existence intact. And then she can control them. Or maybe not control them, but maybe she has her own contract with it. Who knows what she's offering? I don't know. 
sad and ironic that the ghost devil which was used to protect Aki is the one fighting him right now I fucking love Himano but I love this fucking animation he has oh that is so sick that is so sick all we need is a few seconds in the future and that'll help out immensely in a fight like this but that's all that's all you get the rest is on you you need to be able to fucking do it yourself someone gonna save the day please be kishibe i want to see him fight so bad please no oh what what the fuck what in the cg dope ass looking futuristic music video fucking ending is this i don't know what's going on with these visuals but and the music but it's going off right now like look at that that shit looks like we're watching a movie right now i love how just different tonally visually audibly every single ending has been this is so drastically different i love the effort and passion they put into the show like look at this oh my god i'm on lsd now i miss you girl nah tell me this doesn't feel like you're watching like a kingdom hearts music video <laughs> I swear to God, it was like we're at the beginning of a Kingdom Hearts game with that ending. That was sick. That was sick. Man, 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 man. Talk about an ending. Talk about a cliffhanger. And I love how this episode is called Mission Start, because it essentially, even though we did get a little bit into it, we are essentially ending this episode on the start of the mission, which leaves me excited, but also nervous about next episode. Only reason I say that is because generally when and i could be incorrect you guys might have a, a perfect example that just shoots my argument out of the sky but generally when they're ending a season whether it be a one core or a two core anime season they end it in a spot that generally resolutionizes it's not even a word the arc that we're currently on you know like generally when an arc is like it's like a roller coaster you know this is the peak this is the wind down this is going to the next arc so generally the end of a season is right as it's going down maybe even here maybe even here for training for the next one like demon slayer season one was really training we're getting ready right for the next one but with us starting a mission with so much tension so much context so much built up pressure we'll say um at the end makes it feel like we're ending at like a at like a heat like literally almost peaking is where the last episode is gonna be so that makes me nervous but also excited is next episode gonna be the peak plus also the resolution or are we gonna have like one of those crazy anime seasons where they end on a cliffhanger like if they end even more peak that'll be insane to me i don't know how they can wrap up and give us a resolution of this arc in one episode we have denji versus what's the, the, the katana man we have uh Sawa, sawatari snake girl heavy versus aki we still have the rest of div 4 which i love how kishibe was the one giving the police the R, aka us the rundown on them because they need to be more worried about our good guys versus the actual terrorists we're trying to stop it's just so funny to me it's so ironic but we have shark man we got plague doctor violence fiend we have the uh, the spider devil we have the angel devil like Hang a fuck. I am my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Like, I can just already picture so many funny moments, crazy deaths. I love what the future, I love the future devil's personality. Super funny. Say, say it with me. The future is fun. And it's like, oh, you have a shitty attitude, man. It's so funny. But what he said about Aki is he's like, oh wow, I bet you're wondering why I gave you, I'm giving you this deal so cheap. But it's because your death in the future is absolutely going to be fucking insane. Which I wonder in relativity to the cost being so low, if its power is so low. Because when Aki, and there's probably conditions and certain restrictions you have to hit to use your power fully. But when Aki put his head in his gut, he was able to see all the way up until Aki's death. Now that could be next episode. That could be five years from now. I don't think so because he has two years max, whatever. We don't, what you know what I'm saying? That could be to them, but but in just 
his actual powers within Aki's right eye, he can only see the future up to like a few seconds ahead of time. So is that because, and you guys can answer me this if it's not a spoiler. Um, if Aki were to give up more than his eye, let's say he's like, oh, I actually want to give up my fucking lower half of my body, both my legs. Would he be able to use more of the future devil's power? Or is the future devil being like, yo, I'm going to give this to you for free, essentially, because I like how you're going to die, but you can kind of only use a little bit of it. So the rest is up to you. Or even for the other people, the other two people who have contracts with him, like the guy who gave up, is it both of his eyes or one of his eyes? And then half his lifespan, do they only get a little glimpse in the future as well? Or what do they get? I'm curious. Um, overall, love this episode, loving the season, loved the ending, cannot wait for the finale. Hopefully you guys are as excited as well. Um, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Hope we're going to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.